For the function f of x comma y, find a unit tangent vector to the level curve at the point negative one comma four that has a positive x component. Let's first take a look at this graphically. On this level curve, notice the blue vector is normal or orthogonal to the level curve, and the purple vector is tangent to the level curve at the point. So to find the unit tangent vector, we'll first find a normal vector to the level curve by using the gradient and then using the fact that if two vectors are perpendicular, the slopes are negative reciprocals, we'll determine a tangent vector and then determine a unit tangent vector. But once again, the blue vector is a normal vector and the purple vector is a tangent vector. And in this case, both vectors are unit vectors. So to begin to determine a normal or perpendicular vector to the level curve at negative one comma four, we determine the gradient of f in which the x component is equal to the partial of f with respect to x, and the y component is equal to the partial of f with respect to y. Let's first find the partial of f with respect to x to determine the x component, which indicates we differentiate f with respect to x, treating y as a constant. The partial of f with respect to x is equal to eight x plus five y minus zero plus four plus zero plus zero. The partial of f with respect to x is equal to eight x plus five y plus four. And now the y component is equal to the partial of f with respect to y. Now we differentiate f with respect to y, treating x as a constant. The partial of f with respect to y is equal to zero plus five x, or just five x, minus eight y, plus zero plus one plus zero, which gives us just plus one. The partial of f with respect to y is five x minus eight y plus one. And now we evaluate the gradient function at the point negative one comma four, which will give us a normal or perpendicular vector to the level curve at the point. The x component is equal to eight times negative one plus five times four plus four. And the y component is five times negative one minus eight times four plus one. Simplifying the x component is equal to negative eight plus 20 plus four, which equals 16. And the y component is negative five minus 32 plus one, which is negative 36. So this vector is perpendicular or orthogonal to the level curve at the point negative one comma four, but so is any scalar multiple. Let's go ahead and let the orthogonal vector be vector v. Let's let vector v equal, let's say one fourth times the gradient vector at negative one comma four, in which the x component is 16 and the y component is negative 36. This gives us the vector four comma negative nine. Now again, this vector is orthogonal or perpendicular to the level curve at the point negative one comma four, and notice the slope of this vector would be equal to the y component divided by the x component at negative nine fourths which means a vector that is orthogonal or perpendicular to this vector would have a slope that's the negative reciprocal of this, or four ninths. This indicates the tangent vector must have a slope of four ninths if the normal vector or perpendicular vector has a slope of negative nine fourths. So let's call the tangent vector vector t. Again, it must have a slope of four ninths which means one possible vector would have a y component of four and an x component of nine, or the vector nine comma four. So now we do have a tangent vector to the level curve at the point negative one comma four, but we're looking for a unit tangent vector. Let's let the unit tangent vector be a vector u sub t, which is going to equal the tangent vector nine comma four divided by the magnitude of the vector. and the magnitude is equal to the square root of the sum of the square of nine and the square of four, which simplifies to the square root of 81 plus 16 or 97. To summarize, the unit tangent vector at the point negative one comma four with a positive x component is the vector in which the x component is nine divided by the square root of 97, and the y component is four 
divided by the square root of 97. Before we go, there's one more thing I do want to mention. If by chance the gradient vector had a positive slope, which would indicate the tangent vector would have a negative slope, we would want to make the x component positive and the y component negative, so the slope is negative, but as directed, the x component is positive. I hope you found this helpful.